I think the experience that we have had uh, in pharmaceuticals has been one of a very long time. Uh, we in fact started in Russia in sometime in 1991 and it's almost 25 years. So this is important to us because in the 33 years of its existence of our company, Dr. Redis Laboratories, uh, we've been in this country for a very long time. 25 years is, is a very long time. So as, as to the question of, of uh, you know, uh, our experience and the opportunities, uh, for, right? So we've been talking about, I've heard ease of doing business, you know, quite, quite a bit. So I would say that it was difficult to do business in the past. It's become very easy over a period of time. It's become easier as we move forward in terms of you know, how we have done the business in this country. Uh, it's been difficult times because the country also have been difficult times. So I still recollect uh, in the, I think around 1998, when we had the Katsendi crisis in Russia. That was a difficult time. So as far as our company was concerned, because we're in the business of pharmaceuticals, because we're in the business of healthcare needs of people, it was also an important point of view, not purely from a business interest. It was also an interest in, in terms of, you know, uh, looking at the health healthcare issues, uh, you know, in Russia. So having been in the country for several years, we, we stuck on when most of the people left. So when the Russian economy revived, I think that's, that's when we really, uh, you know, were able to benefit. But I think coming to the point of, uh, you know, more in terms of what are we uh, intending to do, again, reflecting on some of the comments that uh, distinguished uh, members of the panel have said, uh, it's again a huge opportunity. Pharmaceutical exports from India into Russia is a significant uh, number at one point of uh, time. But in terms of the potential, uh, in terms of what can be done, it's, it's, it's enormous in terms of what can be done. An example of the kind of cooperation that we have been able to engage with is something what I wanted to uh, explain. If you see the needs of the country again uh, at this point of time, if you see this specific area of oncology, uh, the cancer uh, drugs, uh, there is a huge amount of money which uh, you know the Russian government uh, spends at this point of time through the tender process which uh, it tends to do. So, so the difficulty there is the high, high uh, technology involved in making these drugs. Right? So it's not about the routine drugs, but I'm talking about the high technology based uh, oncology drugs. So one such product we had uh, been the first company in the world to launch the biosimilar of that uh, way back in 2006 back in India to begin with, and then we went into several emerging markets. We also uh, uh, put in the product for application in Russia in the year 2010. Uh, that's when we had done. And then finally we received the approval. So the effect of this is, you know, you know it was not just our own effort. We also partnered uh, with a local company called uh, R5. I think our partner is somewhere in the exchange today. And then the thing is, it's a high technology drug, we have uh, run the technology transfer here. It will be produced uh, locally. And then, then it will participate in the uh, needs of the government. The, likely, the likelihood of the, the savings that the government would realize, I mean, just to give an idea again, would be 3 billion rubles from the procurement that was done in the past to what, what is likely to happen. So this is the scope of what can be done with just a single product, which ultimately is, is serving in the area of cancer. It is also an example of a very difficult drug being developed by a company from India already uh, participating in several emerging markets. And through collaboration with the Russian company, we were able to bring it and then uh, manufacture it locally, transfer for the technology locally. And then the savings finally for the for Russian government is potentially huge. And the pipeline of products that the company is developing and the part that it uh, wishes to engage uh, will, will again cause uh, you know, improved access, improved affordability, and also availability of high quality medicines. So this, this was an example of, you know, pharmaceuticals in terms of what can be done. So clearly in terms of investments into the country, uh, there is there's a significant scope for uh, Indian companies to invest uh, into production uh, by themselves through partnerships and also more importantly, being able to transfer technology into this country and affect a lot of savings for the uh, government and ultimately benefit access to healthcare to Russian people. That's our experience.